AI is not art. It's a huge debate topic these days, and one I actually agree with. Yes, I know this video is literally about how to use AI to create art, but that's what I intend to set straight here immediately. AI is a tool. We can use it to create some really cool stuff, but to call myself an artist after spending two hours making something that would take a true artist days feels wrong. At best, using AI makes you a photo editor. I'm not creating something from nothing. We're using a filter on existing photos or art and editing the output. There's a lot of misconception about it. I make my YouTube thumbnails using the exact same methods I'll show you here. It's not as simple as clicking one button or typing in a phrase into an AI generator. That might get you something cool, but it's too easy for me. Let's get started. I decided to do a live stream the other day and create three unique AI art pieces. First up, we're doing a Star Wars one. Any ideas on who should be in the thumbnail? It could literally be any three characters, as long as they're Star Wars characters. <laughs> Vader. I think Vader. Vader's definitely one you gotta throw in there, right? Jar Jar. Phasma. Ooh. Revan. We've done Revan 2 before in a video. Maybe, maybe, maybe we just do like three really fun Sith. We do like Vader, Revan, and then like General Grievous. After some deliberation with the chat, we decided to do something Sith related. We ended up going with Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, and Darth Bane. To start, you have to find the prompt images. So I typically scour Google for this. When picking images, I always try to use exclusively AI-generated pictures, such as Darth Vader here, or official photos like Kylo Ren. For Darth Bane, I couldn't find a great image like this, but there's a pretty sick Battlefront 2 mod of him, so I went with that. Once I have my images, I clip them out and start aligning how I want my finished piece to turn out. For the backdrop here, I actually decided to fill out the rest of the pre-existing background that came in the Darth Vader AI pick. I just content aware filled that in and we got something pretty good. After I have my prompt image, I take each part individually and clip it down. The app I'm gonna be using to create this AI art is actually on my phone and it's called my Two. Not sponsored, it's just the best at what it does in my opinion. Once I get the images, I drop them into my Two's AI art generator and see what it gives me. Sometimes it looks great first try. Other times, I have to crop it out even further. For some reason, the closer an image is zoomed in, the more accurate it looks in the output. Zendra, why are you smelly? Orgle snaps. I don't know, why are you smelly? When I'm finished with my two, I throw it all back into Photoshop and start realigning everything. Okay, I have to show y'all this. This is this. Uh, what is it doing? What is my AI doing? Darth Bane was actually a little tricky because the AI art it generated wasn't up to par, so I had to manually edit it up a tiny bit. I used the eyes from the original image and threw a brush stroke filter on it to tie it together. I even manually created a new lightsaber blade because the AI version looked kind of crummy. Next step was to export the finished thing and run it through an AI image enhancer website. Now that it's HD, all that's left is to touch up the saturation and coloring, then maybe do some render lighting effects. Oh, my, my show Photoshop literally crashed doing that. That's crazy. <laughs> right, uh, I said do some render lighting effects. Ah, uh, no, it did it again. <laughs> the fact that it did it again is crazy. <laughs> okay, now that I've learned my lesson and saved my project file, I do the render lighting and finish it off with some additional brightness slash contrast edits. The finished product looks pretty cool. I think that's one of the best thumbnails I've ever made. Um, next one I wanted to make was something uh, Spider-Man related. After experimenting a bit with our options for a Spider-Man themed art piece, I opted to not get demonetized. Have Spider-Man have Venom? Ooh. The chat recommended I do the symbiote Venom, and we ended up plotting out something nice with a half Venom, half Peter Parker in the middle, with Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy on his sides. And of course, a nice background of New York City, with the symbiote side at late night. I didn't screen record the Mitu part of this because I felt like it was pretty clear how I've done it so far. Or the Spider-Man suit is kind of becoming <laughs> the Venom's tongue. As you can see, the AI was struggling a bit to get Venom's tongue to not look like crap. And the hands, well... AI doesn't do a great job with hands. I had to crop down the hands to fill the entire image like I did with Darth Bane, and that goes for Gwen and Miles. I did manage to get one decent image of the Venom half of Peter, 
but it was tricky still to merge the two images. I danced around it a while, but ended up with something pretty decent. This is kind of what I meant by photo editor earlier. I'm not really creating art, but it's not like I'm doing nothing. The final result was not happening with my two's AI. I had to get involved. That's looking pretty sick, in my opinion. I made the mistake of adding drop shadow to the files before I sent them off to my two, and this made cropping the AI art out of the background a little tedious. This <laughs> really quiet when activated. Yes, someone, someone even commented on it. Damn it. So it took a while to do so for these guys and realign them. Sender, why are you sometimes quiet? Are you planning something evil? A little bit. A little bit of evil planning. But I mean, who doesn't have an evil plan, you know? It's taking a little bit longer than the Star Wars thumbnail was, that's for sure. I love bald people. Well, that's good. Bald people love you too. I guess. Then after what felt like forever, we finally got to the fun stuff. This time, I actually saved a project file because I learned my lesson and did the color correcting and render lighting. And this was the final result. A pretty impressive change from our original mock-up, I think. So, I, I don't have anything specifically thematically in mind here. Finally, I thought I'd have some fun and do something silly with Lego. What's the point in making art if you can't be goofy every now and then? A redeemed outlaw. Hey! Red Dead. <laughs> Arthur Morgan Lego. Pirate? Ooh, that's a good idea. I feel like em Emmett is the poster boy for Lego minifigures, right? My first thought was to drop in Emmett, the guy from the Lego movie, but the chat really wanted pirates, so I threw a rough mock-up together. It didn't take too much work to crop these guys out, since LEGO minifigures are marketed with solid white or transparent backgrounds anyway. I thought it looked pretty cool. The chat wasn't too happy with what I'd done, though. I feel like Xander doesn't know what he's doing. I know what I'm doing better than you know what you're doing. No, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just goofing off with the LEGO thing. I'm not trying to be rude, but can you do better than this? I mean, maybe, what do you got in mind? I can do better than this, I guess, but what do you have in mind? The AI output surprisingly didn't make it all look awful. I was really worried they'd become monstrosities. Alexander actually made the pirate ship look good. Yeah, you gotta trust the process. All that was weird was it gave Emmett kind of a weird neckline, so I touched that up to the best of my ability. The smudge tool in Photoshop is really the best. I would be nowhere in life without it. <laughs> He's got the goofiest teeth ever. <laughs> He's got like some ring on it. Maybe that can be improved. Even after I fixed Emmett's teeth, it wasn't enough. You'd get rid of the construction worker Lego man. He's the Lego guy though. What, you thinking it should be a different guy? Who, should, who else should it be? Emmett's, the, Emmett's the, the Lego mascot. I don't know, I feel like Emmett works better there. Ultimately, my boy Emmett didn't really fit the theme, so I replaced him with another generic pirate Lego minifigure. This one with a golden sword. With the final pieces all aligned, all I had to do was push the bricks together to do the final color correcting and render the lighting. And there's our LEGO art in all its glory. Much better than I was expecting, to be honest. Please let me know what your favorite art piece in this video was in the comments below. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters in the Insane Tier, Anakin Skywalker, Blunt BBM, Carter L, Fudge Cake, Leon Barina, Mom, Plus Gear, Thestra Pony, Vasu Patel, and Woodston. Y'all are the reason I can make videos. I hope this new style of video was cool for all of you. It's the first video I've made in a while without AI voices. And yeah, leave a like if you want to see more uh, AI arts videos in the future. Thanks for watching.